Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. In this video, we're going to explore the enhancements made to SOLIDWORKS Composer in 2019. Right off the bat, what you might notice in 2019 is that the icons in the Command Manager have been updated slightly to give it a better look and feel. You can see when I switch back to Composer 2018, the slight differences in those icons. Additionally, what you might notice in the Command Manager is a new search bar. And the search bar is a command search just like you see in SOLIDWORKS, so we can use this to find commands that might be hidden away and we're not sure where they're at. On the topic of searching, in SOLIDWORKS Composer 2019, we now have a new actor search. So we can use the new search to look for different collaborative actors with a certain name, or even geometry actors with a certain name. So here in this view, I have a few collaborative and a few geometry actors, and I'm going to search for anything with step one. So I've named all my collaborative actors with that uh, naming convention to match my views, and I can quickly and easily search for them, and it'll automatically select them. By changing it to include only geometry actors, I can search for the name that uh, is included in the geometry actor's name, hit search all in it, and it finds those as well, selects them, I can make any edits I need at this point in time. Let's take a quick look into the model browser in the workshops and there's a couple new models that we've included in the standard install. So we now have a arc welding gun, a bearing puller, we also have oil canister. So a couple new things that we can include in our model. Just a simple drag and drop will place it automatically in there. Uh, it does turn on the assembly selection. so we can easily move that around and manipulate it to point to a specific area in the model that might require that procedure. Now while we're working in Composer, we're generally working in our views or in an animation. In this example, we're looking at the views uh, I've created for the speaker housing. And I've finished a couple of these views. Uh, for instance, step two, I know it's completely finished. I don't need to make any changes. So I can actually right click on that view now and lock it. And that, what that's gonna do, it's gonna prevent any inadvertent updates to that view that might change the way it looks when I don't want it to. At any time when you're, if you do need to make a change, you realize there's a mistake, we can unlock the view uh, and then update it from there. When we are working in our views, we're often selecting different actors or collaborative actors to make translations or rotations to them. And it's helpful to know that you've actually selected the right number of components. So now in 2019, down the bottom right of our status bar, when I select these four screws, it's gonna show me that I have four actors selected. If I select from left to right, and it's anything included in my selection box, we can see that number updates to nine. So it gives me a direct feedback to let me know if I've selected more actors than I, than I intended, or if maybe if I missed one. When we're ready to start creating an animation, we can use the animation library to create blocks such as unscrewing or screwing a component in. So for instance, these nuts, I have a screw animation step created, but we can see that I've actually missed one. And in previous releases, we, we'd have to recreate that entire assembly step. Well, now in 2019, with the animation library workshop open, simply select the step and then also additionally select the extra component we want to include and update selections from the workshop. So now our animation is going to include that fourth nut and we don't have to recreate anything and wait and spend more time creating that. So we've gone through and made some updates to our animation and we wanna save this file. However, in the background, I've been using SOLIDWORKS PDM to manage my files and I forgot to check this one out. Well, now in SOLIDWORKS Composer 2019, we have a new SOLIDWORKS PDM tab in our command ribbon and I can check it out directly from here. We also have other commands in PDM, such as show our data cards. So we can see all this information directly from SOLIDWORKS Composer. And when we're ready, we can go ahead and check it in from this SOLIDWORKS PDM tab. That concludes our video on what's new in SOLIDWORKS Composer 2019. If you'd like to see more SOLIDWORKS related content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.